life would succumb? What happened to the miracles? What happened to calming the waves? Now there's only darkness surrounding, and there's hell to be paid. It wasn't supposed to end this way. He had only just begun, and the prophecy told us he was supposed to be the one. The one who bring freedom from these laws like prison chains. The one who reconciled the people by the power of his name. Yet here he is, betrayed and deserted on a cross. And after crying out to his father, even he seems lost. And as he exhaled his last, the whole earth shook in a rage. The veil was ravaged and the savior was slain. But lo, in the grave he would not stay. For death could not hold the savior at bay. For the darkest of night comes just before dawn. And with the next breath he took, the Messiah had won. And as he emerged from that tomb, no longer a slave to the darkness that swore it would swallow his name, the cords of his death trembled, retreated, and cowered, his sentence repealed by the evidence of his power. And behold, a new age dawned of redemption through grace, where the stains of our sins could no longer be traced, forever washed clean by the blood that he shed, made new in the life that was raised from the dead. And what do we have to do to receive such a prize? Simply call on his name and open our eyes. For his name is the name that changes our story. When our tongues profess the name of the King of glory, and not Herod, not Judas, not a Roman or high priest, not the tempter, not a serpent, not the rugged corpse of a tree could ever stop, ever stall any part of his plan. For his name is Jesus. Yeah, good, my heart.